What's up, ladies and gents? This is Idaho Dub with an NCAA 14 video. This is a demo video, the demo release today on Xbox and on PlayStation. Let me know if you've played it. Leave a comment down below. I want to know what your thoughts are. I put my NCAA 14 wishlist video out yesterday. I told you guys what I wanted to see. And obviously this is the demo, so I don't know what, what if any of my, my dreams are going to come true in the game. I'm playing as Texas A&M. The computer's playing as Oregon. On the demo, they and as far as the play now options, they let you play as either this matchup, you can play as uh, Ohio State or Michigan, and then they also allow you to be Alabama versus Virginia Tech, and that's kind of a weird matchup to me as Marcus Mariota runs all over my defense. Yay! I'm playing on Heisman difficulty. Ripley's believe it or not, man. You can believe I'm playing on it or not. I should have showed it. That's what I should have done. But <laughs> I'm playing as AM because this is one of Idaho Dub 3 schools and he wants to, you know, see what they got. And is am I gonna house it? Am I gonna take this to the house? I can't even talk about the gameplay because the game's been so exciting so far. But I'm pretty excited. This is actually the very first game I played. I was like, let's play the game, let's record it, let's make a demo video. So in my wish list video, I talked about a bunch of stuff, but I the main thing that I talked about was, well, not the main thing, but one of the main things was the new Infinity Engine. And the game definitely feels much different than any prior NCAAs. I know a lot of people have left comments about, it, you know, hoping that it didn't suck like Madden with the Infinity Engine. I don't know that I played Madden with the Infinity Engine. I didn't play Madden this last year, so maybe the year before, uh, I, Madden always has felt different to me than NCAA anyways, but this game definitely feels different. I I like it, and ooh, Fumble Ruski, give me that ball, baby. Way to cough that up, Mariota. I I like it. It feels different. Um, I'm definitely not used to it. I'm definitely used to the original NCAA, but it does. It feels it feels pretty fluid. It feels pretty seamless. I, I like it so far. I definitely am not used to it, especially when I play defense, because I don't play a lot of defense, so... I don't have my angles down. The guys, and this is probably what they were going, I'm assuming this is what the Infinity Engine does, it's probably supposed to make it feel more, feel more realistic because that's what, you know, when they develop a game, they try to make it feel more realistic. I definitely noticed that when I'm running around with Manziel, he, he is a beast, is, as you can see, man. They make him a beast in this game. I mean, a straight-up beast, but I don't... I don't feel the the quick the choppiness and all that. It feels everything feels a little more delayed and it it probably makes it a little more realistic. So I don't know that you'll see a lot of people, you know, on the prior games and they've they've cut this out over the years, but people would run one way and then run back the other way and then the AI of the defense would get to following him and the guy would have so much speed he could, you know, whip back around. He could run, you know, north and south or east and west and uh wait, east or west? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. He could run from sideline to sideline until the defense would get going with him one way, and then he would go down the field. And I don't think you're going to be able to see that anymore. And they've, they've done a good job of cutting that out previously, but it feels good so far. I've only played the one game. I like it. We're going to have to see. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do a real impressions of the game until I actually play the real game. But so far, I like it. The game looks good, man. It looks. I think it looks real good. One thing that I'm always curious to see, and I've talked about this before, is I'm always curious to see what the cuts are going to look like. So the video cuts to the crowd, what are the players' celebrations going to be like, you know, all of that stuff. Because when I make a Road to Glory video, I try to encompass the campus environment. You know, I kind of want to make it feel like it's a real college atmosphere. Mary Oda is running all over me, man. He is all over me this game. But I'm always trying to, you know, incorporate the crowd and everything into the game so you kind of get a feel for my character like he's at this school and kind of kind of give him his own personality and you know it's going to be a little bit more with id3 but so that's what i try to do so i'm always looking at you know what the cuts are in the demo last year i actually got a pretty good idea of what i was going to see in the game and it was basically just they just took the same celebrations and crowd shots as they did the year before I haven't seen that too much from this game, um, but I don't. I haven't. I don't know. Sometimes different schools get like you know they give 
preference to different schools and they show different stuff in the crowd and they get different celebrations. There's a game, I can't remember what year it was, it was like 2000, 2010 maybe, 2011. One of them had the celebration where you could go run over to the mascot, but it was only for certain schools. So I don't know if they're going to have anything like that in the actual game. We'll see. But that's something that always intrigues me, but I haven't seen anything too special as far as the celebrations or the screen or the cuts to the crowd. But we'll have to wait and see till the game comes out. One thing that I do find is hilarious is that, and I've talked about it before in videos, you know how the video games or EA Sports makes the players, tries to make the players look different. You know, they'll slap dreads on somebody who doesn't have slap or have dreads in real life. And, you know, because they don't use the real players for these games. But in this game, a lot, and I've edited it out, but a lot of the players have mustaches. I mean, it's like a mustache party on this field. I've never seen so many mustaches. I actually, they might be violating some sort of NCAA rule with the amount of players on a team that can have mustaches because there are a ton of people that have mustaches. Look at that. At least on Oregon and Texas A&M, there are a ton of mustaches. Look at that. Do some investigative research. Look into that. I want to comment on a few things you guys talked about in the wish list video. A lot of you agreed with me um, on certain stuff. You want to be able to export the rosters to Madden. I haven't heard anything about that yet. I don't know if they're going to do it. I think they should. That's the only reason I didn't buy Madden this year is because I couldn't export my player to Madden. So if they bring that back, they're probably going to get another customer from Madden, me. And I think they probably get a lot more people. People like to do that. I mean, that's part of the fun to me is being able to export your player, you know, take them from high school to the college and then into the pros. So that was kind of a major letdown for me when Matt or when EA got rid of that. And I, I don't know why they wouldn't. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard to to keep in the game. So we'll see if that happens. A lot of you talked about the rosters, you know, being able to take the actual rosters into Road to Glory, and you said that a lot of somebody commented, Mr. Hurricane, who has, who has a really popular YouTube channel. You guys said that he actually has the real players' names on his Road to Glory. Manzel, fourth and 25. Are you going to get there? Boom! Look at that. See? They make him like a fullback in this game, man. It's ridiculous. So we'll see if they can do that. Maybe I'll need some help from you guys so I can make sure. I just want the players, the actual players' names when I download a roster to be in my Road to Glory. Oh, no! You have got to be kidding me. After that 4th and 25 run, you're going to cough up the ball. The EA gods are even out to get me in the demo, man. Mariota run all over me. So, yeah, man, that's I agree with some of you. I'm glad you guys agree with me on some of the, some of the things you want in NCAA 14. I thought it was funny, the comments about the uniforms, how I said it's a little ridiculous. You know, all the different uniforms. They don't even have some of the, some of the uniforms don't even have school colors. And the video, you know, to show all the school's uniforms were, was 35 minutes. And a lot of you are like, I love all the uniforms. And I think it's funny because that's that's something that would probably appeal to me too if I was getting recruited by a school. And that's why I think Oregon was so successful in recruiting and, and building their program up is because they had all these different uniforms. And I know if I was like a star athlete and Oregon was recruiting me and they're like, we have Nike, we have all these uniforms, you get all this Nike, all this Nike gear all the time. How would you not go there? Like, I would want to go there, too. And I think that's the reason why you see all these schools getting all these different uniforms. So they can be like, look, we have all these uniform options, too. Come play for us. So I thought it was interesting to hear all of you guys say, I love all the uniforms. Because I think it is excessive <laughs> that all these schools are going to these million options of uniforms now. But I get why they're doing it, and I get why a lot of people like it. So that's kind of my thoughts, man. We got 19 seconds left in the game. Sorry, 10 seconds left in the game. Are you kidding me? Oh my, are we going to go into overtime in my very first game? My very first NCAA 14 game, we're going to head into OT, huh? Man, it's just like the the Heat Spurs game. I don't even like basketball. And that game was intense tonight, man. I had to I had to sit down and watch it. It was crazy. All right, 21-21. Oh, dub. I pushed the button too soon, man. It slipped on me. I should have let him get a little deeper. That Hail Mary's not supposed to be that short of a throw, dub. All right, first and 10 overtime. We're starting with the ball because Oregon wanted to play defense. They won the toss. All right, Manziel. Rolling out to his right, Manziel. Manziel beasting. Dude, they're, it's going to be just like Mike Vick with the Falcons a few years. When that, that, what is it, 03 Madden or 04 Madden? Everybody online would want to play as the Falcons. That's what people are going to be doing with Texas A&M. That is exactly what they're going to be doing. Oh. DeAnthony in the end zone, so Oregon gets the ball back. We go on defense. 
Ooh, little screen. They've been hitting, trying to hit that screen all night, and it's worked for the most part. Second and 11. D up, boys. D up. All right, third and five. We just need one stop. Hold him to a field goal. Ooh, I don't know what Mariota's. That's the second time he's done that, man. He's kind of gotten rid of the ball quick. All right, they bring on the field goal unit. If that's their real kicker from last year, they must have got a new kicker. He would not have made that. All right, boom, across the middle, Manziel on point. Bringing a guy in motion. Should we just run it in with Johnny? No. No, actually, maybe we should. Maybe just bulldoze our way through. All we need is a touchdown, boys. Across the middle. Dove, you are so stupid. A new year of NCAA 14. Same old dub, throwing interceptions. This one cost me. Luckily, this one doesn't count. This one isn't for anything. Oh, man. That's the perfect way to end the game. But that's going to do it, man. Oregon 31, Texas A&M 28. Let me know what your thoughts are about the demo down below. If you've played it, if you haven't played it, let me know what your thoughts are anyways. There you have it. It was fun, man. I like it so far. But that's going to do it. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.